Hello friends, welcome back to my series of tutorial videos on interior furniture modeling. In this lesson, I'll explain the procedure to create a sofa set in three dimension using AutoCAD software. Before trying this tutorial, I strongly recommend you to go through my introduction to AutoCAD 3D part 1 and part 2 tutorials in my channel if you are not familiar with AutoCAD 3D. This entire video is taken in full HD resolution. So it will be better if you change the resolution of your TV or monitor to Full HD to get a better viewing experience. Before we start off, we should change the interface of AutoCAD to 3D modeling to get all the 3D modeling commands and options. We will start with a single seater sofa, then we will use copy and mirror commands to create two seaters and three seaters. Are you ready? Let's start with a single seater. We will go step by step. We will start with the seat, then we will create the back, then the handles. Let's take a close look on the seat. I'll select the seat and when I orbit it, you can see that the seat is made up of filleted rectangular boxes. So first of all, we will create a rectangle here, then I'll extrude it, then I'll copy that rectangle onto the top and I'll fillet all the corners. Let's do that. I'll switch over to Southwest Isometric View by clicking on this hotspot of the view cube. Then I'll start with the rectangle command. So I'll click on rectangle. When I'm asked to give the first corner, I'll pick here. Then I'll give it the dimension. So I'll click on dimension option and I'll give the length as is 60 and the width as 60. Now I'll just uh, zoom out and click to define the opposite corner point. Using this rectangle, I'm going to create the seat. The total height of the seat is 45 cm. So I'll click on extrude command and I'll select the rectangle and I'll give a height of extrusion of 30 cm. Okay. Next, I'll copy the same rectangle and I'll keep it onto the top. So I'll click on the copy command and I'll select the rectangle. This is a base point and this is a second point. In fact, the total height of the seat is 45 cm. So I should reduce the height of this box to 15 cm. So I'll click on move face option of the solid editing panel and I'll select on this face and this is the base point and I'll just pick a midpoint over here to define the second point or else you can give a distance of 15 centimeter. Filleting will perform afterwards. Next we will create the sofa back. In order to create the sofa back we will create the profile of the sofa back and we will extrude it. So let's make that profile. Before we create the profile, we have to align the UCS on this face. So I'll click on the visualize tab. Then I'll uh, select the face option of UCS command and I'll click over here. Then I'll just give an enter to accept that orientation of the UCS. Then I'll start with the polyline to create the profile. So I'll click on the home tab and I'll click on polyline. And this is the first corner and the next point. Then I'll keep my ortho mode on by pressing the F8 function key or else you can just click on the ortho button in the status bar. Then I'll give a distance of 55 centimeter. So I'll type 55, 55. Then I'll just give an enter to go out of this polyline command. Then I'll click on this polyline to get the grip points, which are these uh, blue dots. Then I'll activate this grip by clicking on it. Now the color of the grip got changed to red, which is an indication that it is a hard grip. Then I keep the cursor in the leftward direction. Then I'll type the distance of 15 centimeter. So type the value 15. Now we have completed this polyline profile. Next, I'll give an offset command and I'll give an offset distance of 12 centimeter. 1, 2, 12. Then this is the object offset and this is the side. I just picked a point in that side. Then I have to connect these profiles as a single profile using polylines. So I'll click on polyline and I'll pick these two endpoints here. Now I'll go to polyline again. Okay, but this time I'll just right click and get the arc option and right click again and I'll select the second point option and I'll pick a point over here as a second point and I'll click to define the endpoint. Just give enter to go out of this command. Next we have to convert this into a single profile. So I'll click on the join option and select a join from the modify panel or else you can give the join command 
and you can select all the profiles which are to be converted as a single profile. Now this is a single profile. Next we will extrude this profile. So I'll click on the extrude command and I'll select this profile to be extruded. When you're asked to keep the height, just pick a point here. So we have created the sofa back as well. Next we have to create the handles of the sofa. For that, I'll start with the polyline from this endpoint to this endpoint. Then I'll move this polyline through a distance of 20 cm in the upward direction. So I'll give the value 20. Next, I'll extend the endpoint of this line towards this inclined line. For that, I should draw an inclined line first. So I'll draw a polyline from this endpoint to this endpoint, which will act as a boundary edge for the extend command. And I'll click on the extend command. When I'm asked to select the boundary edge, I'll select this polyline which I've drawn just now. When I'm asked to select the object to extend, I'll click on this endpoint. Now this line got extended. Next, I'll erase this boundary edge since it is no longer required. Then I'll draw another polyline to complete the profile to be extruded. So I'll draw a polyline from this endpoint to this endpoint to this endpoint and I'll connect with this. Next, I'll convert this into a single profile. So I'll go to join command, click on modify panel and select join and I'll select this entire polyline. Now you will get a message that it is converted as a single profile. Now you can extrude this. When I'm asked to give the height of extrusion, I'll give 12. Now we have created the handle of the sofa. Next we have to perform the filleting on all the edges. Now I have four objects in the sofa. I have the back, the side and two boxes to represent the seat. I'll retain only one object at a time while performing filleting. This will help me see all the edges properly. So I'll go to erase command and I'll erase the back, the side as well as the bottom portion of the seat. I'll switch over to wireframe representation and I'll go to fillet command and I'll give a radius of 1.5 centimeter. Now I'll choose this particular edge to be filleted. Now it'll ask you for radius for reconfirmation. I'll just give an enter. I want to retain the same radius. Now I can select all the edges to be filleted by making individual clicks. Okay. After you select edges, I can just give an enter to get the fillet. Now what about those objects which are erased? I'll give oops command to get those objects back. So I'll give the command oops to get the erased objects back. Please click on the link provided to get a better understanding of the oops command if you are not familiar with it. Now I'll repeat the same process for rest of the objects. So I'll click on erase command and I'll erase these three objects and I'll retain only the bottom portion of the seat and I'll click on fillet command. A radius I don't have to specify because the most recently specified radius will remain there. Now select the edge to be filleted. Just give an enter. Now select the rest of the edges. Okay, so that is done. Now give oops. Again, erase. Erase these two as well as the handle. Go to fillet. Select the edge. Just give an enter to confirm the radius and select the rest of the edges to be filleted. You should be keen in selecting all the edges and you should not miss out any edges. Okay, so I have performed a fillet there also. And next I'll give oops to get the erase objects back. Now go to erase and select all these objects. Now we have only the handle remaining here. So go to fillet, select this edge, give enter and select all the edges. to be filleted. Okay, now give oops to get those objects back. So this is the right time to mirror this handle onto the other side. Before I perform the mirror command, I must align the UCS with the base. So I'll go to visualize tab 
and I'll take the UCS back to the world. Now I'll click on home tab and I'll select a mirror from the modify panel and I'll choose this particular handle and this mid is the base point. When you're asked to select the second point, make sure that your ortho mode is on and you just pick to specify the second point and these two points will define a vertical axis. Just give an enter. I'll change the color to a different color. So I'll select the object and I'll press control one to get the properties panel and I'll go to select color and I'll choose this particular shade which is 11. And now the color of the object is changed. Next I'll go for a, a realistic representation and I can and you can see the chair in the given color. Next I would like to create a two seater from the single seater. Before that I'll create a two viewport configuration. So I'll click on this particular icon over here and then I'll go to two vertical. Okay then over here I'll go to plan view. So I'll click on custom view and I'll select a top view. And I'll change my representation to wireframe here. I'll take a copy of the single seater. So I'll click on the copy command and I'll select this object. This is a base point and I'll choose a second point over here. Okay. Now I'll erase this handle. Okay. Then I'll go for a mirror command and select this object to be mirrored. At the first point of the mirror line, I'll select this end point. Okay, you can just zoom it and select it. And the second point on the mirror line, you can just keep the cursor right on the top to define a vertical axis and just give an enter. Now we have a two seater. Next, we will create a three seater. For that, we will take a copy of the two seater and we'll perform some editing operations. So I'll uh, click on copy command and I'll select the two seater and I'll choose this as the base point and just pick to define the second point. Okay, I need just a single copy of it. So I'll just escape to cancel the copy command. Next, in the plan view, you can see the copy here. I'll erase this handle. Next, I'll go for mirror command from the modify panel and I'll choose these two objects as the object to mirror and I'll select the midpoint of the second seater as the base point or the first point of the mirror line and I'll pick a point right on top to define a vertical axis and just give an enter. Now we have created a three seater. Hence, if you have a single seater, you can create sofas with varying number of seats by performing editing commands such as copy and mirror. Next, we will rearrange these sofas in the right fashion to create a perfect sofa set for our living room. So I'll read in the three seater over here. Then I'll give move command and I'll select this two seater and I'll choose this as a base point and I'll move to keep the two seater over here. Next I'll go for rotate command and I'll select the same two seater and I'll choose this as the base point of rotation and I'll give a rotation angle of minus 90. And then I'll move the single seater and I'll keep it over here. Then I'll go for rotate and I'll rotate this and I'll choose this as a base point and I'll give a rotation angle of 90 degree and I'll move to keep it somewhere over here and I'll go for one more copy of a single seater. So I'll go for copy command and I'll select the single seater and uh, the second point I'll pick somewhere over here. Okay. Now I'll activate uh, this viewport and I'll make that as a single viewport by going to single viewport configuration and you can see sofa set which you have created. In the next tutorial we will create a tpoi and keep it right at the center of the sofa set and we will have two corner tipos to fill up these two gaps. So this is how it will appear once you complete the work. Uh, this is a center tipoi and these are the corner tipoi. We have one corner tipoi and the second corner tipoi here. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I believe that I have explained this tutorial in a simple way.
do keep in touch with me for any clarifications related with this work. You can download the completed file from the website www.sabircad.com. You can just click on the tutorial file section in the website. So do make a try to complete this tutorial and don't hesitate to interact with me for any clarifications related with this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Thanks for your time.